why do you, each of you choose to be documentarians? Why that form of storytelling? And is it the telling a true story and being um, journalists first in some way that draws you? Or is it using film as a way to tell a story? What draw, draws you in first? And it might be different for each of you, but I, I, I'll start with Rory down there. Um, is this working? Uh, no, it's not. Okay, it is. We, okay, there we go. Thank you. Um, I started making documentaries coming out of college, and I, I come from a political family, and I was always invested in um, trying to impact social change. And at that time, cable was sort of bursting, and I really love, it's kind of naturally love storytelling. Um, I did my final paper about uh, women, pregnant women who struggled to get drug and alcohol treatment, who were addicted to drugs. And when I was talking to the, these women in these circumstances, I realized that the representations in the media was very different than what I was hearing, which is that 90% of them tried to get treatment but couldn't get treatment. But what we were seeing in the media, which you might recall during the crack epidemic, was these crack mothers having crack babies. And I felt that if I could take a camera into their living rooms and tell their stories and bring them to Capitol Hill, that we could maybe change policies to adapt to what's actually happening on the ground. Yeah. And I knew I couldn't bring them all to the Capitol Hill, but I could bring their stories. And so I made my first film, which was Women of Substance. So it, I, it, for me, initially, it really came from kind of an advocacy perspective. And I think over the years, I've really grown to love the art of storytelling. and um, and. But my work, I think, does a range of both showing um, and exposing issues from the perspective of the people who are li living it on the front lines, um, and also hopefully celebrating great stories and sharing those. Well, I, I think um, I think what's wonderful about uh, the documentary format is that you don't uh, you don't really have to choose. Um, you can you can do both, um, and I think the best documentaries do. Uh, both um, uh, present solid journalism um, and also entertain. Um, uh, if if we were only interested in journalism, I suppose we could we could write articles. So what is it that we're doing in documentary storytelling that we can't do um, in presenting uh, what you would present in sort of an encyclopedic recitation of the facts. Um, we're trying to do something more and we're trying to move people and we're trying to change how people view an issue or how they see um, themselves, how we look at one another. Um, so, um, you know, I think the, the fun in uh, documentary storytelling is to uh, use all of the um, elements of good journalism in, in presenting uh, a story factually and bringing a story to light that deserves to be brought to light. Um, and certainly all of the films this year, I think, um, really do that. Uh, do that. Yeah. I definitely come more from a, f at first from a filmmaker perspective and before I started doing documentaries I was doing more abstract type, more art based and, and then I really fell in love with the um, filming things happening in real time. You know, when you're with somebody and they're confronting some kind of decision or conflict and you're there and you can document it and I'm interested in what you can kind of understand about human experience or something in that being in that situation and so that's kind of what's been you know driving the the films that I do is trying to find the issues that I'm interested in where I can find them that are unfolding in real time and so in terms of the the case with Citizen Four and Snowden I mean we weren't really trying to figure out how to tell the story different than how it played out in the on the front pages because actually what I was trying to do is say actually this is actually how it played out in the hotel room when all these <laughs> I mean it's kind of the behind the scenes yeah um, and and so and what we tried to do is stay you know, true to that material and actually try to not think too much about what was on the front page of any papers.